Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome you to you all, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Whether you're there in locally or in diaspora, this message is for everybody. There's a very, uh, should I call it a good way message and also a timeline to the Fulani government of Nigeria, controlled by uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu as their so called president. Mohaneze Ndibu, this one I will call them Mohaneze Ndibu because uh, according to the news I have here with me, they have really spoken well. They have mandated the so called uh, Fulani government of Nigeria to use this October 1st as a record to rewrite the wrongs which the government and the previous government have done to the Igbos. And also to Sunday, Ibuho, the prime uh, uh, head of Odua Republic, who started the agitation, but it didn't last. He lasts only, he started 2021, and only one year on the line, the, the guy picked race, <laughs> and they grabbed him in the Benin Republic, which is Kotonou, Anyway, and they didn't leave, they don't come now. In defense of the people, uh, in, in, in the people of Biafra, IPOB, and also Mazin Namdekano, giving the Fulani government of Nigeria an ultimatum to free the young man as the gift of the uh, 1st October to Mazin Namde Azikiwe. Uh, they said it's a gift to him, to honor him uh, for, for, for fighting for this uh, great nation uh, then. But, uh, hey, great nation then, but. I know now there's nothing great about the that uh, banana republic or Nigeria because if their passport can be devalued, what else remain? Even the passport passport of ordinary Hayati, ordinary Hayati, is very poor. It's more better than this this uh, country of over two hundred million uh, million people. Even a country that is almost just only ten million, Laos, it will, it is in the Southeast Asia, is better than. Their passport is better than that uh, so-called Nigeria. Nonsense. Nigeria at 63. Grant Namdekano, Sunday Boho, pardon to honor Azikiwe and others. Oneze Ndibo Tutunumbo. Outrage bandit on Asise, on Asi the reason why Nigeria can never be one. And anybody keep on telling me, oh, we believe in one Nigeria, that person eh, okay, one weekend. Eh? Whether we bo ni bo, you won ya usa ki won yoruba. I'm going on Dubai. Only I got one. Only I got one week. On I still remember that uh, in Zamfara, some couple of weeks ago, some students, some university students, was abducted. The person who abducted this uh, university students is a kingpin, bandit, terrorist, a Boko Haram member who got angry that his own camp was being sidelined. When federal government sent some experts to negotiate with other uh, bandit heads and Boko Haram heads in Zamfara State, they signed the line this guy and the guy get angry and went at race to do what? To kidnap the, 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 the university students. But look at what is happening in the Southeast. I am not angry at the Fulani government of Nigeria, neither am I angry on their soldiers. My anger goes to the so called the governors, ministers, senators from the southeastern part of the country who shut their mouths up, seeing all these things. Knowing fully well that even the government of the day boycotted the, the newly elected or selected governor of Zafra State and went behind them to negotiate with the bandits. When the governor cried out, you know what they said? They said that the governor is playing politics with the university uh, students. And they deny that they never uh, uh, um, um, uh, negotiate with the bandits in Zamfara State for the release of those uh, varsity students. That is Nigeria for you. APC for you. A anything that APC cannot do, or this Fulani control government of Nigeria cannot do, in this world or world to come, does not exist. Their lies is, is, is in the highest order. They lie even more than the devil. There are some lie APC and the fully control government of Nigeria will lie. Even the devil will shout Jesus. That is where they found themselves. Thank God I am a Biafran. May God bless Biafra. Biafrans will stand and the Biafrans it shall be. 
Outrage bandit kingpin responsible for Zafra varsity abduction. Protesters in Imo State they don't stop uh, uh, storm INEC office demand replacement of REC. It is necessary if they can do it. Make on a see what in the happen no. Why Nigeria can never be well and can never get better. A girl was stamped. That was a uh, uh, stopped by one chance in Abuja. Some so, good Samaritans saw this lady, picked her up, and rushed her to the hospital, near nearby hospital, for quick intervention by the hospitals. Do you know that the hospitals what this girl believed to death? All in the name of that the girl does not have uh, a police report. If this girl is a criminal, why can't you then treat her? After treating her, you hand her over to the police. If I am the use of that area, that hospital is supposed to be burnt down, not closed down, burnt down with the workers inside. Workers of iniquity. This thing has been going on and on in Nigeria. Somebody has been stabbed at the point of death. Rescue him or her. They refused until the guy, the girl bleed to death. And they, they, and they were very happy. So shall it be upon all the whole workers present in that very particular day. The day that we need help, whether home and abroad, the help will never come from nowhere. Help will elude them at the point of their need. These are my prayers to them. No matter what it is, a criminal come to the hospital, treat that criminal. If we find out that the person is a criminal, hand it over to the government or to the appropriate authorities. As simple as that, I rest my case. Anyway, my wonderful people, I beg, let us go straight to the reason why we are here. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification icon to be notified. Each time we go live, or we post something new on this channel, or any other channel related to Okute Daily Talk. Let us go there. The Hanese Ndibu Social Cultural Organization has urged Bola Men Tunumbu to grant an unconditional pardon to Nam De Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and Yoruba Nation Freedom Fighter, Sunday Iboho, to the sacrifices of the late nationalists like Nam Dazi Kiwe, Obafemi Awolo, and Amadou Bello. But let me quickly collect this impression. I have not even gone through this before I praise you people. You people are honest and believe it. Let me quickly collect this impression. Mazin Nam De Kano is not waiting for any pardon. But free him on the court order because Mazinam de Kano have been in detention when our elders, including Mbazulike, who left us, uh, Mbazulike of the Blessed Memory, with his ear heard, traveled all the way from the southeast to go and see Buhari in Asorok. Pleaded with him to release Mazinam de Kano on political grounds. But the monkey said, No, we have to wait for the court to decide. After court had finally decided, they refused to free him. Even when the court had barred Nigerian security agencies or any law court that can never try Mazen Nam De Kano or detain him, they are still detaining Mazen Nam De Kano till today. All our elders and the Hanoi Zendi Beribe, everybody keep calm. Now we are coming to tell us to pardon Mazen Nam De Kano under what ground? Mazen Nam De Kano has been free from all frivolous charges, 15 frivolous charges. Hang up on his neck have been cleared off. As he stands now, Martin Nam Kano is wider than the snow. And you are pleading for, for, for pardon. On a one believe On a one and a final. Earlier on, when I saw the news, I thought you have something very reasonable to say. I don't even know that it's still the same one and believe that they will also dance to the tune of their paymasters and those people who made them what they are today. On a wugon na na infas. On a run for call. In a statement to mark Nigeria's 63rd anniversary, the factional secretary of general of Ohanese, Oketuku Isiguzoro, said the unconditional freedom of Nam De Kano and the Boho would help alleviate the disintegration threats facing Nigeria. He all the foreign government of Nigeria to use the occasion of the 63rd Independence Day anniversary to demonstrate a commitment to unity and peace in the spirit of the sacrifices made by the nation's founding fathers. Isi Guzoro said both activists 
have been vocal about the need for improved security and economic conditions in the south, in the southern Nigeria, okay, southeast and the southwest. He noted that the current political climate has led to a resurgence of calls for secession. According to Isi Buzoro, the 63rd Independence Day anniversary of Nigeria on the 1st of October 2023 will be observed with mixed feelings. While the nation is celebrating its freedom from colonial rule, it is also grapples with the ongoing tension and political unrest within its borders. The Apex Igbo organization, in particular, reflected on the significant con contributions of Nigerian nationalists towards achieving independence in Nigeria in 1960. Dr. Nam Dazik a Pan-Africanist and a prominent Igbo leader, was one of the key figures who led the struggle for Nigeria's independence. His efforts, along with those of other nationalists, we are instrumental in achieving sovereignty for Nigeria. However, the current political climate has led to the resurgence of calls for secessions, particularly from the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Ebli, led by Mahazi Namde Okuchuku Kano. The detention of the Kano by the Fulani government, led by uh, Muhammadu Buhari, has been a source of tension and controversy. Many Nigerians are questioning the government's actions, particularly as they contrast with the lack of persecutions for the Yoruba activists. Sunday Iboho, both act activists have been vocal about the need for improved security in the, and economic conditions in the southern Nigeria. A cause that gained traction under the previous administration of Mamamadu Buhari. There is a Ndibo call on the uh, Bolame Tunumbu to consider the unity of Nigeria above other interests. They have pleaded for a presidential pardon for both uh, Kano and Iboho because it would honor the sacrifices made by Nigerian nationalists like Namde, Kano, Obafemi Awolowo, and Amadou Bello. In another development, Nigerian news, at Red Bandit, Kingpin responsible for Zamfara, varsity abduction. <coughs> the abduction of the female students of the Federal University in Guzao, Zafra State, has been linked to the angry bandit Kingpin, who was reportedly sidelined. According to Daily Trust, the bandit leader kidnapped the student in order to vent his anger for being sidelined by the virus teams allegedly sent by the Fulani government to negotiate with bandits in Zafra State. Make sure that they hear about killing your ear very well in case you never hear it. Come and hear the original news. A source told the newspaper that the bandit kingpin decided uh, to carry out the abduction to show his capability after the virus negotiating teams engaged with different groups of bandits but failed to meet him. <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria. The, the, uh, 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 the, uh, negotiating with bandits and killing IPOPs. And killing Biafrans, all in the name of uh, fighting insecurity. He therefore led his supporters to the hostel near the university and adjoining houses during which they abducted an unspecified number of students and locals. Okute News recalled that the university was attacked by the bandits in the early hours of September 21, during which the female students were kidnapped and led into the bushes. However, at least 14 of the students have been res rescued so far. Why the rest are yet to be found and the bandits are yet to be publicly asked for ransom. Also, the total number of students kidnapped by the terrorists from the university has not been verified. Nigerians and Nigerian government or the full and control government cannot give you the specific people that those people kidnapped. And that is the irony of what we are into. It is painful. It is very, very painful. I weep for Nigeria. Supporters of the Labour Party in Imo State have demanded the replacement of the state resident electoral commissioner, Reg. The supporters who are protesters carry banners and placards chanting songs at the entrance of the state office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. 
According to the peaceful protesters, the party has the right to demand a credible, free and fair election in the state out of the November 11 governorship pools in the state. The protesters said their demand for the replacement of the state rec was pre uh, premised on the allegations of compromise leveled against him. The state level party, Chairman Kalisus Nyejawa, told the pressmen that the party wants INEC to ensure that their votes count by using the bimodal voter accreditation system Beavers machine. In his response, INEC's head of the Voter Education and Publicity Development, Emmanuel Opera, gave his assurance that the commission will resist any attempt to compromise to ensure a free, fair, and credible election. And that is what they promised. During the 2023 general election that happened in February 25th. But later on, they did otherwise, and court supported them and said they have every right to decide on how to upload the results of the elections. And people were clapping hands that the judgment was credible, that judgment reflects to the wish of the people, that you promise the people heaven and, heaven and earth, even at Chatham House, and said, this election, according to the Electoral Act of 2022, is going to be credible that the machine will be used. On the day of the election, the totality of the machine was shut out during the upload of the presidential election, knowing fully well that APC have lost the election. I rest my case. My wonderful people, I hear go tell you I'm signing out. Help me like this message, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and more videos and interesting ones at that. I'll be right back with another blockbuster. Have a nice day. Bye for now, my wonderful people. Kemesiano.